Hey there, I'm Eric Tennant, and this is the absolute cheapest way I found to charge a e-bike using solar. They're electric. So I just got a simple, this is uh, one of my flexible panels, it's, uh, it's called a Daiku solar panel. <laughs> and I got it hooked up to the meter here, and then from the meter it goes to this little boost step-up uh, controller. Uh, you are able to control the output voltage and supposedly the how much amps it puts out. And then from there I got it hooked up just to a just a simple little toggle switch. This isn't needed, but I like to use it just in case something goes wrong. I can hit the switch and turn it off real quick. And that's connected to my battery. Yeah, it's all in a bag. Anyways, there's there's three in there. That, that's a whole other video in itself. So yeah, this is basically the cheapest way. Unfortunately though, from this, I'm only I'm only seeing up to like 50 watts from this particular device. I'm sure we spent a little bit more. This one was, uh, I think it was around $11. The first one I bought, uh, <laughs> it didn't work at all. It didn't even go up to the voltage I needed. This is the second one I've tried now. So I'm getting, I'm able to get about half off the solar panel and it's probably losing about 10 watts in the conversion over. This thing is not efficient whatsoever. Be much better off to go with uh, the one pound silver one as I call it. Or if you really got the money, uh, go with one of the Jensen's. They're, they're quite a bit pricey. They're up in the $200 range, but they are by far the lightest. Um, you have to buy one for each, each type of battery. Where with the one pound silver, you can set this thing from anything, I believe, from like 24 volts, uh, I believe up to 60. Unfortunately for you 72 volt guys, that, that won't work for you. So the battery is what I consider to be a solar battery, which just means is it has a common charge and discharge cable. I upgraded these myself using a Dolly BMS to make them a solar battery. And then additionally, if you're wondering what this wire is, that's not a charge or discharge. That's actually a for my knee active balancer i plug it in there and i'm able to do any kind of maintenance on the battery uh, those are basically other videos you'd have to check out on my channel if you want to know how to do that thanks for watching hopefully you found this helpful and have a great day